Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome to the first part of our Let's Play of The Walking Dead. And, as most of you probably know, I am a huge zombie fan, and I'm also a huge fan of The Walking Dead TV show. I haven't had the opportunity to read the comics yet, but I would like to at some point in the future, because I hear they're absolutely fantastic. And, you know, there hasn't been a really serious zombie game in a long time, at least as far as I can tell. And... All the zombie games that kind of come out, they're really fun, you know, they're fun and enjoyable, but, you know, they never capture the serious drama, like, of a zombie apocalypse there. They don't take themselves very seriously, and, uh, there's kind of a hole there in terms of, I think a lot of people want, like, a really serious, uh, zombie game that kind of brings out the drama of the zombie, zombie apocalypse and, you know, what it would be like to be in that situation. And I'm hoping... The Walking Dead, the game, at least, fulfills that role a little bit, as uh, the TV show does, and I assume, you know, the comics do. So, I balked off a little bit in terms of buying the game first day, because I wanted to see what people were saying about it, if it were good, or if it were, you know, bad, or if it lived up to the really strong Walking Dead name, because there's a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of power behind that name. You know, it's a quality TV show, quality comic book, and... You know, I wanted to see if it was a quality game, if it really lived up to that name, and people were saying that it did. So I thought, hey, you know what? Let's get the game, and let's do a Let's Play of it, and once a month we'll play through the various episodes of The Walking Dead. So without further ado, let's begin our, ep our Let's Play of the first episode of The Walking Dead. So, this is a, a point-and-click adventure game, kind of, sort of, and it's also kind of a you know, choose your own adventure game. So the apparently the choices you make will carry through throughout the you know duration of the episodes for The Walking Dead. So I thought because uh, I haven't finished this uh, this game, I, I didn't finish it. I just played through and you know played through like a about an hour through the first episode. But I've noticed that there are plenty of dialogue options where you can't say anything and I just want to do that throughout the entirety of the Let's Play and see how that how that works out well I reckon you didn't do it then Hmm. <laughs> nope, definitely not. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Hmm, but you don't talk too much, do you? Followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy, huh? It's not every day a fella from Bibb County goes off and kills a state senator, that's for sure. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. <laughs> you meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Regardless, it could be you just married the wrong woman. Oh, outburst of anger. <sighs> or not. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. 
So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Well, Blabbermouth, <laughs> let me tell you something. They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say Watch so. Out! This other time... <laughs> You know, that seems to happen in The Walking Dead a lot, where there's like nothing on the road except a zombie and somehow the characters manage to flip over the car and crash it. myself out that window. Well then do that. Don't just sit here talking about it. Jeez. Uh. Uh. Yeah, I love the art style in this game. Man, it just looks awesome. It looks so gorgeous. the shotgun. Looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. There is a shotgun shell. Based out for a second. Careful, dude, he's a zombie. Thankfully, he had his gun out. Are you dead? 
Well, um, he's missing about half of his head, so I think he's dead. Help! Go get someone! There's been a shooting! Oh, shit. Um... You know, this is why I think people might overestimate, uh, overestimate the, um, uh, uh, what's the exact word I'm looking for, so that overestimate the threat. Oh, yeah, wow, that was real tough, Spencer, what the hell's wrong with you? Anyway, um, <laughs> people overestimate the threat of the zombie apocalypse, because, I mean, I fell down, like, three times, have, have a, you know fucked up leg and was able to limp away from those zombies before they caught me. I'd fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. So I mean if anybody up there? So I mean if you know messed up Lee could outrun the zombies then anybody could. Well, if they're slow zombies, that is. If they're fast zombies, then. Somebody! Yell if you can hear me! All bets are off. Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Well. Well, let's hope they don't care. I mean, it is the zombie apocalypse, after all. Coming in! Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. I never understood those people who leave fake uh, bowls of fruit lying around. Why not just leave real bowls of fruit? Maybe there's something on there. Three new messages. Message one left at 5:43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. 
Please let me know that you're safe. Message three. Left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. That's depressing. I wonder what happened to Ed. Daddy? Huh? And that crazy guy. I can do that. Hello? Did they get you? I I'm sorry. I'm here. Please don't go. Are you dead too? Hello? Hello? Aw. Unfortunately, it's not gonna let me remain silent for him. Good. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? A sight for a little girl. Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Um... I think it's best if we go before it gets dark. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. So maybe I can't remain silent the whole time. I just kind of want to answer 
in ways that nobody else is going to answer, you know? That other people might not think to, you know, or most people won't uh, move through the game. Oh, man. I ain't never getting home to Mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Okay, well, I guess we should go help him out. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? They won't. We should go. Then they'll find me, right? I won't leave you alone, okay? Well, gotta be brutally honest in the zombie apocalypse. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah, thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Well, thanks for uh, not doing that. Eating us, that is. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just some, um... A good Samaritan. Yeah, a good Samaritan. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... Your monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Come on, guys. Come on, let's go. Again? Those guys, not good Samaritans. Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. I told him we could help him out. We'd really appreciate it. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's a good Samaritan. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have.
Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Well, you don't say much. Wish I had five just like you. What did you say your name was? I'm gonna need a name. It's Lee. That wasn't so hard, was it? Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed? Before the car accident. Nowhere. Nowhere. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who were you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. I wouldn't worry too much. We're pretty far from the city. Seems like that's where it's the worst. Yeah. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Teenage girl with her guts spilled out on the floor stood up from the dead and tried to bite me. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. And if your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. All right, then. Man, Herschel's a dick. In comparison to what he's like in the TV show. It smells like... Shit. <gasps> I'm sorry. Shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. <laughs> I don't think anybody cares now. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Get up. Mm. Ugh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. 
I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. <laughs>